the Miami Dolphins have a head coaching vacancy but that doesn't mean they are a top spot on the minds of head coaching candidates. When the season ended on Sunday, there were several head coaching vacancies that immediately became open. On Monday, the Dolphins added to that list. The question is whether or not the Dolphins are a destination that top candidates would want. Are the Dolphins a spot that would draw top candidates? That, I'm not so sure of. The Las Vegas Raiders job may be the top destination this offseason if the Raiders move on from the interim head coach. They are a playoff team and have a lot of pieces in place. Their vacancy didn't come from losing but instead from John Gruden past. In Jacksonville, Urban Meyer's departure was more about his off-field antics and far less about his coaching, although inevitably, his coaching got him kicked out. The Jaguars have a top quarterback prospect, a good and developing defense, and a lot of pieces that need to be molded. In Denver, there is a lot to like but they lack a quarterback. Still, the Broncos seem to be trending right and the Vikings have a lot of talent as well. So where does that leave the Dolphins? You would think that Miami would be a top destination. No state income tax, a young quarterback, a top defense loaded with talent. Minor changes need to be made to the offense but overall, the pieces are in place for the right person. The problem isn't the personnel. The problem is the management team. With the firing of Brian Flores, Stephen Ross has now fired four head coaches and two interim head coaches. There has been plenty of controversy over the years and most recently with Deshaun Watson. There are questions of power struggles and a clear focus and vision. The Dolphins should be a top destination, a sought-after job that every head coaching candidate should be chomping at the bit for. Instead, there are questions, concerns and uncertainty. There is an ineptitude that has become the face of the franchise. Miami has the draft capital, the salary cap space, a young quarterback that can be molded, and a strong defensive core. It would normally be ideal but there are many in the media and NFL executive branches that see this all playing out as less than ideal to lure a coaching candidate to Miami. It is shaping up to potentially be a Dennis Hickey type of hire. Miami should be the it place but it is hard to believe that is the case anymore. It will be interesting to see if Stephen Ross has to overpay for a top candidate or if coaches will line up for the job. My guess, it will be the former. Forget Ross, the one constant in Miami Dolphins struggles is Chris Greer. Miami Dolphins fans want to blame Stephen Ross for all the failures since 2008 and while many are justified, Chris Greer has been a constant for a lot longer. Stephen Ross has had four winning seasons as the Dolphins owner. He has failed at hiring a head coach and he has done just as bad at hiring and maintaining his general managers. Who can ever forget the debacle that ended with the hiring of Dennis Hickey? Now, we are about to jump on the head coaching merry-go-round once again but in reality, Chris Greer should be in the crosshairs as well. When it comes to Greer, I have visions of Jeff Ireland all over again. A power struggle develops in the offices, the head coach relationship is frayed, the head coach is fired but the general manager stays put only to be fired a year or two down the road. This is where Greer is heading but in reality, Greer has more to do with the Dolphins' woes than Stephen Ross. Greer has been the general manager now since 2016. That is six seasons of running the organization. Six years of failed attempts to turn around the franchise that also includes a major rebuild that rebuilt nothing. But there is a lot more. Chris Greer has been with Miami since 2007 in any real decision-making capacity. From 2007 to 2015, Greer was the director of college scouting and frankly, he didn't do a very good job of identifying talent. Greer is the one constant dating all the way back to 2000 when he joined Miami as an area scout and then as a national scout. He has been a part of the process for more than two decades and still the Dolphins are in a never-ending spiral. In his time with the Dolphins, Miami has exactly four playoff appearances with two of them in 2000 and 2001. He has seen only nine winning seasons in that same time. Yet he still not only has a job but a job now that dictates the team's future. Chris Greer isn't going to be fired this year but it is hard to believe that day isn't coming, albeit in traditional Stephen Ross fashion, a year or two too late.